Master Keeson set down his quill and dusted the ledger with sand. Then he corked the ink and gently tapped the sand back into its pot. He glanced around the room before finally looking me in the eye. He studied the ancient and dirty scriptures of darkness and light. I frowned. I've never heard of the Handori or the scriptures of darkness and light. The last Handori sorcerer died over fifty years ago, and it was thought all reference to them was destroyed. One book slipped through. When Jaspin realized its focus on sacrificial magic, he made me lock it away. Well, do you have the book? May I see it? He pursed his lips. Everyone who looks at the book seems to end up cursed or dead. But I need to see it to understand what happened to Jaspin. He sighed as he drew a keychain from around his neck. Study it if you must, but I warn you, the contents do not make for a pleasant read. I watched his hunched frame disappear into his small office while I settled at a table.